Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here, we are back. Uh, today, this video is gonna be a little different. Gonna be a little different, as you might be able to tell in the background there. Hold on. Might be able to tell we're not in Minnesota anymore. No, we are not. We are over here in Colorado, um, over around Denver, around the Rocky Mountains or whatever. And uh, this video is going to be kind of a little different, going to be more of a type of a vlog. Uh, we're going to be hiking up the mountains, whitewater rafting, um, and hopefully, hopefully catching some fish. Um, I don't know, like anything about fishing in Colorado. Um, I kind of just brought my normal bass stuff. I know there's bass here, um, but right now I'm at a little lake, a little reservoir, a little close to where we're staying. Road bike over here, I am absolutely sweating. It's like 90 degrees out, 98 degrees. I don't know, it's it's warm, it's toasty, but uh, I'm gonna try, try and catch some fish out on this lake. And then, like I said, yeah, over the next couple of days, we're gonna be hiking. And if there's any ponds along the way up in the mountains that we see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast a line and see if we can catch a fish. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it. That's the rundown, lay down for the video. Um, so just sit back and enjoy. First cast in Colorado, let's give her a go. <laughs> Rod's a little janky. Just got this kind of weird collapsible rod here. Um, it's about the only one we could fit in the suitcase. No two-piece rods were ever really working. But yeah, just throwing a little swim bait. The sign up in the front said that there were smallmouth and largemouth. Just thought there would be largemouth in here, but hey, I'll be down to catch a couple smallies. I'm just walking up here to this point. It's probably the sketchiest thing I'm gonna do. Oh, it's good to know one slip and I'm tumbling down. Holy crap. This is insane. Um, we are like, I believe we're about 14,000 feet um, in elevation. Um, yeah, that's a lot because I think normally we live in like, I think Minnesota's like 3,000. So um, it's kind of a big difference. Um, feels weird, my ears popped about halfway up here. Like I said before, it's surprisingly hard to breathe. A little lightheaded. Um, but yeah, we made it to Pike's Peak. We're up here. I'm out of breath, I just climbed away uh, to get to this view right here. So, um, I'm out of breath, it is definitely a lot harder to breathe up here. I didn't really think it would be that bad, but you know, it's a little different. It is definitely a little different, but yeah, no, this is just crazy. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, a little update for you. Um, it is day three now, morning three. Um, well, I guess morning two, I don't know. Got here on Thursday night, but whatever. Um, 
Today we are going out, we are going hiking a lot today, all on foot. Yesterday we uh, we were able to drive the car up to like the top of the point of this mountain. Um, and yeah, we were able to do that. But today is gonna be more on foot. It's gonna be a workout. Uh, I think we're doing a little seven and a half mile loop uh, around, it's called Five Lakes Loop. So there's five lakes around it, a couple streams. So crossing my fingers, there's fish in these lakes. I Again, I have no idea. And who knows if I'll even be able to catch one. Um, but yeah, that's the agenda for today. We're gonna get out there and I don't know, I'll see what I record and see you guys out there, I guess. All right, ladies and gents, just climbed up in between these two little rocks here, taking this little trail. We got a little different type of view here. Ready for this? Oh wait, I'm gonna get on these rocks first. Oh God, this is awesome. Holy bucket. You can see everything. So Rocky Mountain National Park, those stretch over there, way over there, I believe. Um, that, I don't know, yeah, that's Estes Lake right up there. That must be the city. The city's back behind this mountain, too. Um, trail we're on right now is called Lily Mountain. Um, it's like one of the free ones you can do. Um, yeah, I know earlier I said that we were going to go do this five lake loop, but um, turns out you need to make a reservation to go to that. Um, but they're like, it's completely open at 6 p.m. So that's gonna be our little nightly evening hike for today. So we're saving that for later. So we're just doing a couple of other ones way out here, but this is the one right now. I don't know if we're even to the top of the mountain, to be honest. I think we gotta go up that way still, way up there. But I don't know, it's hard to tell. Maybe this is the top, who knows? It's just amazing though. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it to the top. All right, little mid walk, mid hike update. We are going down now. Uh, this is the uh, type of terrain we've been kind of going on.
we made it to lake number one. As you guys can maybe tell by now, we are we made it to where we were supposed to go this morning. Um, yeah, we should have been here about a couple hours ago, about six, seven hours ago, but it's all right. We made it here eventually. This is lake number one, smallest lake of the trail here. Um, this is called Nymph Lake, I believe. Um, just a little small one. Again, I have no idea if there's fish in these. It says there is, but this is a very small lake. Again, I have no idea what would even be in here. Trout, bass maybe, but I don't think I'm a fish in this one, unless I see a fish, to be honest. I'm probably gonna wait until the next lake, um, Dream Lake, that's supposed to be the lake of your dreams, so I guess we're gonna see you guys at that one. That's refreshing, actually. Ooh. Snow? What the heck? Ladies and gentlemen, we made it to Dream Lake. The lake of many dreams. Look at that awesome mountain right up there. I do see some fish busting over there. I might go try and cast and see if I can catch one. This water is insanely clear though. Cast. You gotta Last get my hands cast. and cheat them. I do know that. Oh my god. Let's go. Beautiful. Look at that thing. Got it done. Oh my god. First trout ever caught. First trout I've ever caught. Yeah. Here you go. We are now on the hike back. Um, we are not doing the entire loop mainly because we got about 30 minutes left of daylight and we still had five miles left on that loop. So we never would have made it in time. That would have taken us about three hours or been pitch black when we were finishing. So we're just heading straight back. Um, we went through, well, I guess two, we're gonna go, maybe go on this third one right at the start. Um, there's a little loop you can go around. We just skipped it to get, get going. Um, but yeah, that first nymph lake, that was just a small one. Just walked right by that one, and then Dream Lake. Stopped there and started doing some fishing because I saw a ton of trout. There was, I don't know, I don't really know types of trout. I believe there was cutthroat trout, spotted trout, tiger trout, maybe. I don't know, I don't know trout, but I knew I should have. I was just casting a couple times and they were just not having anything I was throwing. But then I switched up and they, one of them turned so I was like, ah, I'm not gonna put the camera on. I'm definitely not even gonna catch one. And I'm like, all right, last cast, let's before we go. Casting, reeling, looking away, all of a sudden, boom, one just absolutely smoked me. I like, I had no idea Trout fought this hard. Like it absolutely just took me off guard. Crap, set the hook, barely the hook got on the top of his jaw. And like a little bit on his like head, but he's all good to go. Brock, I told Brock, whip out your phone, start recording. So we got his phone out right as I was flipping him up. Um, but 
I don't know. I don't know how good of footage that'll be. We'll see. Um, yeah, did it. Check mark. Caught a fish up in the mountains. Again, let me know in the comments what type of trout this is. I'll show you another picture right here. Um, but yeah, I have no idea about any type of trout. Once I get service, I might go try and figure it out. But yeah, we're just walking back down the uh, trail now. I think we got half a mile to go, 0.2 miles, something like that. Ouch, there's a rock in my foot. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of going to be it for today. Um, just going to go relax, go get some food, go to the bathroom. Oh, and then tomorrow morning, we got to wake up bright and early and we got something fun tomorrow. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Well, today is the big day. White water rafting. We got the full fit on right now. Um, I'm going to be trying to run this GoPro on a chesty. Hopefully we can catch some falls. Hopefully not me falling. Take this camera off. Uh, they said the water was 38 degrees. No thank you. No thank you at all. Um, we got a wetsuit on and rain, rain jackets, splash jackets, and booties. So... Hopefully we try and stay dry. I doubt it, but um, yeah, we'll we'll see how we'll see how this goes. Alrighty, you guys, well, that is going to be it for the video. Um, I did not really film an outro. Um, we were really tired once we got off the plane and made it back to Minnesota. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it. I know, like I said before, or in the beginning, that this video wasn't going to be a normal fishing video. Um, but it was more of a little travel video. And if you guys want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments below. I will for sure film a lot more of these videos just like this. Um, yeah, it was... It was crazy. It was fun. Nothing like you see here in Minnesota. I mean, you look out and it's just flat, but um, those mountains were insane. That was definitely one of the funnest trips I've ever gone on. So um hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys later.